So, <clears throat> like I said, breakouts are a good indicator of the orientation and stress. So, if we can see where they are in a well bore, then we can we know what the stress orientation is, right? And so, there's a couple of ways to to see where they are, and one of those is with well logging techniques. So, have you guys had well logging class? All right. So, here you know you have your your basically standard unrolled teleview, right, um, for the ultrasonics. And there's a very clear indication in the ultrasonic log of these kind of black marks, right? And there's a very clear indications of, um, of wellboard breakouts and, and also likewise in the electro resistivity. And so from that, you can reconstruct these breakout cross sections. Through careful, carefully you can, you know, careful interpretation of the data, you can reconstruct these breakout cross-sections. <clears throat> so here you have a, a good indicator of the minimum and maximum principal stresses. However, it is, uh, it is very important to not misinterpret the data because breakouts are stress-induced. Okay, So when we talk about breakouts, we're talking about the fact that the in situ stress exceeds the strength of the rock causes a breakout. But you can also have other damage to the well bore or other, you know, um, other scenarios in which the well bore is not the size of the drill bit, right? And those in include washouts, which washouts are basically a overall enlargement of the well bore, okay? And you can also have what, what they call key seat, and this is typically associated with deviated wells or horizontal drilling, and the fact that the, the drill string is resting on one side of the well bore and, and sort of wearing a you know wearing an elongation out in the side of the well bore. Right. So we want we don't want to misinterpret uh, one of these two things as an actual breakout. So we have to use very careful interpretation. Um, another way you can do that is with the uh, forearm caliper. This is a sort of a standard tool on a, on a dip meter tool, well logging tool, um, that you know essentially it is what it sounds like. It, it has four, four arms on a caliper that sort of trace out the inside of the, they rotate and trace out the inside of the well bore. And if you're, you know, this is what sort of the raw data looks like here. And with that, you can get, a, you know, through careful interpretation of that, you can get an idea of where there are breakouts. So here, as a function of depth, these black lines indicate breakouts, and you know where there where there are no um, where there are no uh, black lines. There are essentially no no breakouts. And you can see here that these are the caliper traces. Uh, along the well bore, and I think this is an eight inch well bore, so it's an eight inch well bore, and you know right in this region you can see that all four calipers are measuring exactly eight inches, and that corresponds to this region of no breakouts. <clears throat> 